House. ABC Action News sports reporter Kevin Lewis spoke with the team this morning about what they'll remember most from this year and what they're looking forward to in the playoffs. There's still plenty of season left for the Lightning, but it's been a season unlike any other on the heels of a Stanley Cup bubble unlike any other. Now, I asked head coach John Cooper when he writes his book in a few years, what's going to stand out most about 2021? But I would say the one thing about this year more than any other year <clears throat> was the commitment of the players. Not being able to do the things that you normally get to do. And I think it was, a, it was trying on the players, trying to get in a season during a pandemic. And, and that's not an easy thing to do. I'll probably remember that as, as this being one, if not the toughest regular season to play in, even if it was just 56 games. The next time the Lightning take home ice will be in the first round of the playoffs. Now, attendance will be up to 7,000 fans, which will probably feel more like 70,000. We're looking forward to having some more fans in, in the rink. It, you know, our fans are such a big part of, of the atmosphere, uh, especially come playoff time. So it's going to be great to see it. Stamkos is coming back from a lower body injury and hasn't played in a month. But the captain says the goal is to be back for game one of the playoffs. I'm feeling much better, definitely in, in a better place than, than I was a couple weeks ago. There's no one that wants to be out there more than myself. The puck drops tonight at 7. Backup goaltender Curtis McElhenney is in the net. And the Bolts currently second in the Central Division, trying to chase down Carolina for the top spot. In Thunder Alley, I'm Kevin Lewis, ABC Action News.